was very scared. I didn't think I'd live. This morning, a 10-year-old boy attacked by a shark in Cancun, thankful to be alive. It just felt like a bump, like a really sharp bump. On the last day of their family trip, Dylan Armijo and his older brother were playing in knee-deep water on this beach when out of nowhere, danger struck, the shark suddenly latching onto his leg. I heard him scream first. That moment is the most overwhelming thing I've ever experienced in my life. His brother, a bystander and a nearby lifeguard, jumping into action. My brother dragged me onto the sand and then uh, my mom and other people just bring me up onto the lake. They just put me on a chair and just put a tourniquet on my leg. Dylan was rushed to a nearby hospital. It was terrifying. I didn't know how bad it was. I, there was more things that I didn't know. And just as a mom, I was, I was helpless. And that's a horrible, horrible feeling. It made me really sad that I couldn't see my mom. Four days later, airlifted to Colorado, undergoing three surgeries. We actually didn't fully understand the extent of his injuries until we were back in Colorado. All of the tendons on both sides of his knee were gone. A lot of nerve damage in his foot that um, he's no longer able to lift his foot, so he'll have a drop foot, um, but he will be able to run and jump and play soccer like normal in, in time, so that's the best we could hope for. I feel really happy feel, seeing and knowing that I'm going to be able to play again. Dylan making it through the hospital with the help of a therapy dog named Halo. They gave Dylan this card. Can you hold it? Halo was a special visitor when we were in the hospital. A few times, huh? Very special. As millions travel to beach destinations for spring break, experts say it's important to stay vigilant in the water. If you're going to get in the water, you have to assume the risk. Um, but I think you sh people should take kind of uh, comfort in knowing that shark bite is extremely rare. Dylan now on the road to walking again. I think I will go back in the ocean again eventually. He's brave and he's strong. And if he wants to go back in the ocean, then I think that's fantastic. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.